everything, get community primed and everything, you know, and then the before and after and everything. You know, it's, you can't just jump right into it. I have a process. I have a creative process, but I always do the mobile gaming. So I play a lot of Soul Forge, Plants vs. Zombies 2 I've been playing a little bit of, uh, Doctor Who Legacy, Marvel Puzzle Quest, Hearthstone. Well, Hearthstone not mobile, but it's it's a it's a game you could pick up and play. That's the kind of stuff I usually play no matter what. But yeah, Hearthstone's definitely... coming to, uh, to iPad and tablet. Yeah, so yeah. They, 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 keep, too. they keep saying that. But I, I do... can't wait, dude. If 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 they come to to iPad and tablet, I will actually keep my account. I'm. And I'll tell you guys that in a minute. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna try to do a little, a little bit of horror, late night gaming, do some horror video, uh, some st streaming, and some videos of horror games. I got Slender: The Arrival, uh, so I'm gonna try that out. And we'll, and we'll come back into the, the zombie talk, and do some more uh, Walking Dead reactions too. So what's your, what's your dust off, uh, Obi? Well, lately, um, of course you guys know Arma Two, yeah, hello, Twenty First Rangers Regiment. We're recruiting. Um, well, I also have been, I gotta say it, dude, I can't help it, but everybody in that, in that, um, I've been just playing on stop with those guys, um, and just being involved in the community with over there. Um, but we, we all play, um, some of us play War Thunder, which we've been playing. Um, I do have Tuesday, we'll, me and you'll definitely have to get on Daisy and, um, go try to make people do things they don't want to. Um, of course, uh, Total War, Shogun 2, and Napoleon just, uh, acquired, uh, a Napoleon Total War. So now I got two different, you know, I got the Samurai. That is like, uh, what do you call it? It was the, um, whatever it is, the strategy game. And then I got Napoleon, which is basically, I don't remember what you Oh, oh real-time strategy, oh. my bad. Real-time strategy. Real-time strategy. strategy, yeah. But um, that's really all I've been doing. I mean, I've been trying to concentrate a, enough on um, uh, doing stuff for, for my clan as well because, you know, there's always new guys that come on that could use some help on the fob or new people that come into the unit that I'm in that uh, want to learn how to fly and stuff like that. So um, just keeping up with that and then trying to keep up with uh, our geeky antics uh, and all that stuff is just, I don't really have time for much else just because <laughs> it's not going to work. So, but um, there's uh, Vegas actually, uh, Fear. Have you played that one, Yogi? Yes, I actually got, I had uh, a few of the games on PC and on Xbox 360, and I think original, I think they started back in the original Xbox, it been, that series has been running for a while, but uh, I got the whole complete series during the Steam Holiday Sale of Fear, and the only reason I don't have them installed and playing them right now, because they're huge games, collectively, mm -hmm. and I don't want, like, I, even if I have the space, you know, I do, I just don't want to, like, it irks me when I see, like, a 20, 30 gig game, and I'm like, I'm not doing anything with that game. Because when it all comes down to it, it's like, I get distracted by League of Legends or Hearthstone or these games that are much easier to jump into. Which, by the way, yeah. we, need to, we need to play some League of Legends together. I, Go back dude, to the old school. Every, I'm, I'm usually on every day. <laughs> you just don't get on ever. I got, a, I got another. Dude, I got another team that I'm playing with that's actually in the, the 20 for at plays I play Armor 2 with. So, I mean, this. You gotta catch me, man. <laughs> when somebody stags me, Obi, let's play. Okay, you're the first one that came up. Sure. Yeah, but we gotta get we gotta get team horseplay going. We will. We will definitely. We will get that going here shortly. But uh, <clears throat> the there is one thing, guys. Um, you know, if you guys have any any more dust off, let us know. Um, but um, like I said, we're just trying to you know make sure that we still play multiple games just because. Maybe you can't get Arma, Arma Two, and all that other things it takes to to play with us. Um, but you got to remember, there are a lot of free games that we also play. We both play uh, War Thunder. Me more than Yogi. We both play League of Legends. We both play Hearthstone, which is well, Hearthstone's really not free because you have to have a Blizzard account, don't you? Well, yeah, yeah. but you can get the Blizzard account just by installing the the new standalone uh, Battlenet client. Yeah, but don't you have to pay fifteen dollars a month for it, or is that just wow? That's just for wow. Okay, so but anyway, um, uh, I didn't say nothing about wow with the dust off guys, is because I haven't been playing. Um, I I've been playing. It launched in two thousand three. I've been playing since two thousand two, um, back in beta. Uh, I've been playing for over ten years, taking a couple breaks off, but 
10 years is long enough on a game, especially when you have nobody to play with. So not going to be playing WoW anymore, but I will be still be playing Hearthstone. And, of course, my wife is still challenging anybody that thinks they can beat her. <laughs> Those will be coming up soon. We'll be have challenges. We're going to have challenges out throughout the week. Once everything kind of slows down here at my house, but once everything does, we are going to be having some challenges. I'm going to make her get online on you know Sunday or Saturday or whatever and play who is challenging her, and whoever wins will get the horse uh, the horseplay Hearthstone King of the Week or Queen. Mm. That could be a video series right there. The exactly, yes. Horseplay Hearthstone Challenge. Maybe one of these days we'll do a marathon. I think we should yeah. definitely have we should have we should try to have like one gaming event a week, even if it's just for like an hour. Uh -huh. Collaborate. So we have something in between the shows. That'd be dope. Now we were saying stuff here. I know we're we're starting around out of time here, but we, we want to make sure that we say this. Um just because uh we want you guys to be as involved in horseplay as possible. To where you guys can call in Leave, uh, you know, leave a message. Leave, you know, it's a voicemail hotline for starts, but to, to where you guys can call in and say, you know, just be part of the conversation. We do want to make sure that um, that you guys can do this. So Yogi's going to talk a little bit. I'm going to get the I'm gonna do something with the stream here. So Yogi, take it away. You going to tell him about uh, our uh, gang hotline? Gang hotline. So yeah, geeks engage. We'll be doing uh, more uh, community interaction, um, and we're going to be. You know, we consider ourselves the, you know, obviously we're the premier flagship show, if you prefer, of uh, the gang, uh, Geeky Antics Network Global. So um, we want to be, the, we want to wanna do more of an interactive format. So Geeks Engage will be where we'll open up the lines, people to call in, um, we'll, we'll get the chat more involved, and we'll play voicemails. And if you want to be a part of that action, we now have a new horseplay Skype. So just look it up, horseplay. Uh, it should come right, right, right up. Make sure horse plays one word, and it should come right up, no problem. Um, and also, or, or you can add me as well on Skype, Yogizilla. Um, but perf but horse plays will be the place you want to call in when we're live on the show. And also, the numbers on the stream. Yes, the voicemail. Right your head. Okay, our voicemail hotline is two zero six four one five four nine eight seven. Yeah, it's 206-415-4987. Um, if you see any other number on the website, disregard it. Because we had another voicemail set up, and I was testing it out. But I didn't like it too much because there was, like, a long, complicated process. It had an extension number you had to dial in, and it was just, like, too much. But uh, leave, show us some love, you know. Um, you know, um, if we could get, a, you know, two or three voicemails a week, that'd be awesome. We'll be happy to play them. Let us know what you're playing. Let us know what you think about the show, what your favorite episode were, what your favorite moments were, favorite guests, maybe guests you'd like to see on the show, some news that we may have missed, or mm -hmm. uh, comments on some of the stuff we may have discussed. You know, let let us all let us know. Anything, everything's good. Just keep the only thing we say: keep it constructive and positive. You know, uh, if you don't start be like Obi. Yeah, yeah. Don't if you start flaming us, we're not gonna play it live. Or maybe we will always to laugh at you. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, that's definitely that's definitely more than likely a possibility. Actually, it's we're gonna do it. We're gonna laugh at you, so don't do that. What yeah. we got next year, Obi, Yogi, Obi. I'm talking to myself, guys. Just don't worry about it. Are we? Have, are we? <laughs> I swear, every episode we're like living the plot of Freaky Friday or whatever that movie was. We're like, like yeah, swapping bodies. I call, I call you something. Obi all the time, like Obizilla. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you Yogi, and then we're gonna have an identity crisis. It's, I won't know who I am the anymore. Obi Zilla show. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> or or Yogi One. I don't know. Whatever you want. Yogi One X Two show. Yogi One X Two. <laughs> that kind of that kind of works. That sounds very Mega Manish. You know, like Mega Man X. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big Mega Man nerd. I'm sorry. But anyway, um. We're, we're not, we don't have too much for deals for cheap bastards this week. I did want to check to see. I did notice something earlier this week, and I forgot to put it in the show notes. <gasps> Dad. But, um, oh, yeah. I do want to mention that. That the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot 
is now f completely free to play. Everybody could jump into it. It's open beta now. And that's a game that's worth looking at because it combines um, basically Dungeon Keeper with like um, Diablo, let's say. Though, if you want the pure Dungeon Keeper experience, War for the Overworld is the way to go. And that's an independent project that also had Peter Molyneux's uh, blessing. But um, check that out. Uh, it's an Ubisoft game, so it's more mainstream. Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. And it's, it's a cool game where you get to create your... Loot other people's dungeons. So these are player-created dungeons. And then you, when the loot you get, you get to build better dungeons so people can't loot you. So mm -hmm. pretty cool. They got a lot of cool stuff available on Steam right now. And I'm very partial to Steam just because it's very convenient. I like the community aspect of it. And they always have great deals. But um, just a heads up, they got... Um, they got a few zombie games, Project Zombod. They got on there. Then they got a game called uh, Seven Days to Die, which looks interesting. The Survival Horde Crafting Game, which I've heard from some people is a good game. What's this? Ooh. <clears throat> Edge of Space? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking stuff up as we're talking. No, because I missed some of this stuff. Neat. I know. It's all good. But no, but uh, sure oh, yeah, guys... oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, 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 I almost forgot to mention, big news. The, the South Park, uh, the Stick of Truth came out, and that's kind of a big deal. It's actually a pretty neat game. They have some very offensive stuff in there. And one of our friends from the Zombie Cast, uh, Tedekin, was on there with Rachel Moore and some other people on, Mach on the Machinima stream uh, talking about the game and playing it live. They did a marathon uh, a couple days ago, so check that out. But uh, as far as deals go, this is the big one, Obi. Rogue Legacy. Five bucks. It yeah. now this is not the kind of game I normally would get because it's not a multiplayer game, mm -hmm. but it's an awesome game at the price. If you like ghouls and, and goblins or ghouls and ghosts, whatever you want to call it, it's awesome. Super high replay value and and super 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 fun. Super 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 fun. I, I, it's it's like a Castlevania style game. And uh, Broken Age, the game that we talked about a few weeks back, is on sale. For sixteen seventy four, and that's a recent uh, release. But Obi, did you notice if anything was on the Steam free to play weekend this weekend? I didn't um, see anything. Um, they've been dialing dialing down a lot since after the holiday seasons. But the yeah, there but they've been doing website... they've been doing the Steam uh, free to play every weekend though. Like the couple weekends back, they did a uh, Ghost Call of Duty Ghosts for free to play. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see it. I don't I don't pay attention to it. Alright, take it away then. <laughs> <laughs> There are a couple websites that we want to uh, let you guys know about that they're right on top, right above Yogi again. It's the only free spot I got. Uh, but it's uh, <laughs> www.cheapshark.com and slickdeals.net. You guys can go to those. They got bundles all the time. I mean, if you think that Steam has cheap bundles, go check these guys out. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. But, I mean, that's just how it is. <clears throat> but it is getting that time of the show. Mr. Zilla, to where we are getting ready to say goodbye. We Aww. want to let you guys know, I know, I know, time flies when you're having fun. Be looking for next week, guys. We're actually probably going to extend the show a little bit next week just because I want to talk about more stuff, depending on what, who we got coming over. We're never going to tell. We're not going to tell you guys if we have anybody coming over next week. We might. We might not. But you guys will find out within the next few days because we're probably going to start tweeting it <laughs> in the next day and a half or so. But we do want to make sure that, once again, we want you to support Armada Online. Uh, it's on Steam Greenlight. You guys go check it out. Um, it is it is a pretty good game. It's I mean, the graphics are, and I'm going to be honest, the graphics are not the best graphics in the world. It is an alpha version of the game, though. Um, it's a space adventure. you got to... Get get going with your your you know your shuttle your different aircraft that you want and you're going around just killing things. I mean it's it's pretty decent. I I rather enjoy it. I think I'm level ten now and I don't know what Yogi is. Um, he's probably like level one still probably. <laughs> hey, if you want to play, I tell you just you just gotta Skype me or text me and I'll jam with you. What level are you? I hit like level five or seven on one of my characters. Then I had another one that I hit level three. 
<laughs> you realize you guys say I, I have no time to play games, but I have two I have two characters in Armada Online. One's level ten, 